Today, we're bringing you the nine deadliest birds on the planet. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. And if you're wondering about the most dangerous birds in the world, you'll want to stick around for number one, because this bird is actually poisonous. Most birds bring peace and joy to our planet, while some can cause us a fair bit of annoyance. But the birds on today's list cause nothing but trouble to their fellow animal friends and us humans, sometimes even resulting in death. So, strap yourselves in and let's take a look at these dangerous birds. Cassowary. This prehistoric looking bird may look awesome, but you want to think twice before getting too close to a cassowary. With a weight of up to 175 pounds and a height of 5 feet, the Australian cassowary is the second largest bird in the world. Like ostriches, a kick of their powerful legs is their go-to method of attack. However, unlike their less colorful counterparts, these guys sport a 4-inch dagger-like claw they use to strike their victims while jumping at them. Although they tend to stick to themselves, the cassowary can be fiercely territorial and turn aggressive when disturbed. One of the most famous attacks occurred in 1926 when a teenage boy who was hunting these birds was killed after a cassowary toppled over him and slashed his jugular while he was on the ground. Recently, a 75-year-old exotic animal collector called Marvin Hayos was also killed by a cassowary that he kept on his property. And while these are the only two recorded human fatalities from cassowaries, they're sure enough to make us rethink provoking one of these majestic birds. If you think a large cassowary sounds scary, wait until you see the pretty little bird at number one, because it's actually poisonous. Australian Magpie After the cassowary, the Australian magpie is probably the second most dangerous bird in the land down under. During their nesting period, Australian magpies are known to become highly aggressive. And while their behavior is well meant, you do not want to come near one of these while they're protecting their nest because their habitats often include residential areas, there have been countless recorded incidents of the bird purposely attacking humans. The issue is so common that some Australian municipalities recommend pedestrians wear wide-brimmed hats or carry umbrellas during magpie breeding season, should they need to defend themselves from an attack. To inflict serious injury, an unexpected attack on a cyclist or pedestrian can easily result in a traffic accident. Southern Giant Petrel When you're thinking of apex predators, the last thing that comes to mind is a seabird, right? Well, think again. The Southern Giant Petrel is an extremely large seabird and an aggressive airborne predator that feeds both on dead flesh and live prey. These guys sport a wingspan of up to 6 feet and are able to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour, which they use to mercilessly dive down on their prey. The giant petrel has no natural predators and will cold-bloodedly hunt other seabirds, such as penguin babies and even injured adult penguins. Larger petrels have even been spotted drowning albatrosses and other larger birds by holding them underwater and feeding on them later. Seabirds? Yeah, right. These guys are almost as fast and as dangerous as an eagle. Bearded Vulture The bearded vulture, also known as the lamagear, is one of the oldest and largest vultures in the world. These massive birds have a wingspan of up to 9 feet wide and can even weigh as much as 15 pounds. These big eagle-like vultures dine mainly on decaying dead animals, with 90% of their diet coming from bones. And while you needn't necessarily be worried of an attack, you do not want to be walking under a feeding lamagear. These bearded vultures drop bones onto stone from up to 250 feet high in order to smash them open and feed on the marrow. They use the same dropping technique for prey like hard-shell tortoises, which could cause severe injuries to anyone who finds themselves in their drop zone. Peregrine Falcon If you thought the eagle was an apex predator, then wait until you hear about the peregrine falcon. Lesser birds, rodents, bats, and small reptiles from the Arctic all the way to the tropics need to keep an eye in the sky for those extremely skilled hunters, or quite frankly, end up as dinner. These birds are masters of the sky, and their refined predatory abilities have made them some of the most widespread birds on the face of the planet. Peregrine falcons are the fastest flying birds in the world, reaching speeds of up to 240 miles per hour when diving for their prey. With speeds like that, 
even animals with the most incredible reflexes don't stand a chance once a peregrine lays its eyes on them. Great Horned Owl Similar to magpies, owls of all kinds have been known to attack people when defending their young, their mates, or their territories, with targets often including unsuspecting joggers and hikers. However, the Great Horned Owl in particular has made a pretty big name for itself in a few high-profile attacks. Horned owls are native to the Americas and usually eat small rodents and birds, but have been known to carry off larger prey. With talons that have a clutching force of about 500 psi, which is the same biting force of a large dog, these owls are not to be messed with. Don't believe us? Take a look at this rabbit hunter, who CBC reported had been clawed by a great horned owl. Deaths from owl attacks are extremely rare, but you best be keeping an eye in the sky anyway if you know one of these guys is around. The Crowned Eagle The Crowned Eagle, also known as the Leopard of the Skies, is native to Sub-Saharan Africa and is arguably the deadliest bird of prey to other mammals. Self-proclaimed kings of the skies, these predators will feed on anything from small rodents to larger deer-like animals and even small monkeys. In 2015, a crowned eagle reportedly swooped down into a lady's garden and killed her little chihuahua Pekingese one early morning. There have even been rumors that the skulls of young children were found in crowned eagle nests. The oldest humanoid fossil, the Tong child, is the skull of an early human Australopithecus child who appears to have died of injuries consistent with an attack by a crowned eagle. Distinctive markings around the eye sockets indicate that its flesh had been stripped by a bird's talons which is similar to what crowned eagles do to monkeys. That's nature for you, kids. Mute Swans The beauty of mute swans may entice you to get closer and bewonder these magnificent creatures, but be warned. Especially when nesting, these waterfowls can turn aggressive and can pose a real danger to you. It's better to keep a safe distance from mute swans especially for children. When approaching mute swans, they're likely to make a fast approach while hissing and striking their wings at you to defend their territory. And while they're not notoriously dangerous to us humans, in 2012, a 37-year-old man in Chicago was however killed by a swan. He was reportedly kayaking in a pond near his area when a mute swan capsized his boat and prevented him from swimming ashore, which eventually caused him to drown to death. The moral of this tragic story? Next time you're at a pond, leave the swans be. Feed the ducks instead. Before we reveal number one, be sure to check out other amazing videos on our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Also, tell us in the comments which one of these is most frightening according to you. Pitohui. And at the top of our list is the colorful Pitohui. At first sight, you would never think it would be the most dangerous bird on the planet, but wait until you hear its dark secret. The Pitoe is the only poisonous bird on the planet. That's right, although it looks pretty and sings an attractive song, people in Papua New Guinea have known to stay away from this poisonous bird for centuries. Its feathers contain toxic levels of neurotoxic alkaloids, similar to those produced by the poison dart frog. In high enough doses, such toxins can lead to paralysis and even death. But the Pitoe doesn't naturally produce its own poison. It's actually a result of eating shorecene beetles which make up a large part of the bird's diet. But regardless of how the Pitoe produces its toxins, this is one bird you want to steer clear of. And that's it for the deadliest birds in the world. Which of these birds do you think is the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and if you found this video interesting, you're going to love our video on the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Forever Green for more incredible animal videos. See you in the next one.